Hello everyone, welcome to Infinity CAD. In this today's tutorial, we will create this beautiful hammer design. I hope you will like this video. Before starting, if you are new to my channel, just don't forget to subscribe us. Now, first of all, I will select here front plane and select sketch. Let's draw one center line horizontally of 190 mm. Escape. Now let's select again a line, vertical, horizontal, down, horizontal, and like this, join it over here. Select smart dimension. This distance will be 25 mm. Select OK. But horizontally, it will be 20 mm. This distance also 20 mm and vertically this 15 mm. Select OK. Now go to features and select revolved boss base and select yes. I think our sketch is not fully defined. Let's fully define this. Go to sketch, make it normal, smart dimension, this total distance 190 mm, select ok, go to features, revolved boss space, perfect, select again ok. Now let's select here front plane sketch let's zoom out it select from your center line select this origin point and select this point now select convert entities select this edge select ok offset entities select this edge 20 mm in this direction ok Now select from your center point arc, select this point and select this end point. Draw an arc like this. Ok. Escape. Select smart dimension. This radius will be 150 mm. Distance of this origin point from this vertical line is 90 mm. OK. Now select here a line and draw one horizontal line of 30 mm. Escape. Select again center point arc. Select this center point. Select this point. Draw an arc like this. Escape. Smart dimension. 100 mm. OK. Select center line. Select this origin point vertically 25 mm. Escape. Select this point and this point. Make them coincident. OK. Select this line and uncheck this for construction. Select OK. Trim entities. Trim this portion. OK. And select smart dimension. This distance 25 mm. Origin distance 60 mm. So distance from this point to over here it's 120 mm. Select OK. Now our sketch is fully defined. Escape. Go to features. Select extruded boss base. Select mid plane. Select these two faces. Make it 60 mm mid plane. Select OK. Now 
now let's select top plane sketch center line like this escape select again a line like this escape now select smart dimension angle between these two lines is 15 degree distance from this origin to this point is 80 mm ok select convert entities select this edge ok select extend entities extend it ok trim entities trim this much of portion again select mirror entities select this line and select the center line ok again select trim entities trim this portion ok now we'll go to features and select extruder cut end condition through all both sides select ok perfect now let's do some fillets let me select this edge select fillet make it 20 and select ok now again select fillet select this face this inside two faces this one the side faces as well as this face select here not 20 mm make them 2 mm and select ok ok now again select fillet select this ok now let's give some color to these fillets let's select this fillet and this fillet these two fillets and select appearance and give them some red color this one will be the perfect select ok now let's select this bottommost plane and select here sketch convert entities this sketch is converted now let's exit the sketch control plus 7 for the isometric let's select reference plane First reference will be this face and make it 50 mm. Select OK. Now select this plane and select sketch. Select convert entities, this face, OK. Select from here a center line. We have got our center point and draw one line like this ok now again go to scale entities select all of these entities ok scale about select the center point make it 0.6 select ok let's select this plane and make it hide exit the sketch go to features reference plane select this face now give it a distance of 90 mm 
select ok select this plane sketch give a diameter of 30 mm ok smart dimension select ok now again exit the sketch go to features again select reference plane and select this face make it 120 mm or somehow let's make it 200 select ok again select this plane go to sketch select the center point make one circle of 35 mm escape smart dimension 35 ok now let's exit the sketch select these two planes select this plane and this plane and make them hide now go to features and select from here lofted boss base i'll select this face and this sketch drag this point to here ok select ok now again go to features select lofted boss base select this face and this circle ok see it's lofted now again select lofted boss base select this face and this circle ok see our handle is also now ready let's select this sketch and make it hide now let's give now let's give some color to this handle so i will select this faces let me select this loft this loft and select appearance make it somehow yellow color okay this loft also this yellow color okay now select this loft and give it a color of black select your black color ok so that's it our model is fully ready i hope you like this video if you think that this video has given you some knowledge then just go and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks for watching